Yay! There we go. Yay! I've done my my most my Christmas present, my path digger, if you like. Although it's not going up and down yet. I am though. I suppose I can just put a uh, I don't know a jackhammer in my hands and just go up and down with it. Yay! Hey guys, this is Tigaz in Velux Studio, as you can see. Kind of doing part two on my self-writing system. I've uh, just left off from where I, from the last video that I put out. I've just added a tiny little bit to the code, which is, I'm just checking for, if you want to know what's going on here, just, uh, I'll put a link down in the description to part one, if you haven't seen that already. I've sort of talked all the way through what's what's going on here. So anyway, if you would watch the part uh, part one, this is uh, this is what part that I've changed. So basically, what I'm doing there is I'm checking for the left side. If that side is up, then all I'm doing is just rotating it back down without a, a body gyro as I was meant to say in the last one, but whatever. <laughs> so basically I've done that for all the directions and the upside down. The up upside down part is a little bit buggy at the moment. Let's comment that out for now. So when I rotate it uh, 180 degrees, it will stay there for now. And of course I've got it anchored. And then as soon as I rotate it either way, you see that? Yeah, it's a bit jittery at the moment. I guess it's got the jitters. But the concept is there. I think it's because it was anchored and it wasn't pushing against anything. So if I rotate that again, no, nope, you're going to rotate. No, nope, no. Nope. You see how good that is? That's fine. <laughs> whatever yeah I think I might have those ways all go round yes I think I do let's quickly change that what size was that that was f uh, front to back I believe so all I do to change the direction is that and re-rising to that you watch I've changed the wrong ones oh well wouldn't be the first time I think I've changed the wrong ones. <laughs> right, let's do this way. Wasn't paying attention. That's what you call uh, Bernard or not paying attention, I think. Yeah. All right, here we go. There we go. So yeah, basically doing what that body gyro was doing in part one, but I'm doing it without a body gyro. As you can see, and there's no trickery going on, like um, like something like I don't know, adding in a body gyro for a tenth of a second, so you don't see it on the f on the video or something. Nothing like that. I'm just using pure C-frame. <laughs> so yeah, let's actually get into game, and let's play around with it. See if I can break it which possibly be quite easy to do. Let's actually uncomment that, uh, that upside down check and show you what the bug is that I'm trying to iron out kind of thing. All right, let's get back into game. And it should have already flipped over, which it's done. <coughs> Unanchor it. All right, so we can flip it. Let's resize it. Let's actually resize it to a small and then knock it over. Yeah, you know, you're gonna knock over. Hmm. 
Yeah, there we go. Nope, oh, I pushed it. Right, let's create a big flat area and then rotate it. So I'm going to show that bug. That's one of the bugs. Yay, Rodham Cowboy! <laughs> or girl. And the other one is... Let's see if I can get it. Doesn't want to do it now. The, bu the other bug was uh, doesn't seem to be doing it now, which is unusual. When I was off camera, it was doing it. What it was basically doing was uh, spinning around on the spot. And now it's not doing it. Oh well, whatever. I don't have to show you that one then. <laughs> Nope, it does not want to break this time. Brilliant. Oh well. My code is not showing me up like I wanted it to. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, so basically, let's see if I can actually make it do what it was doing. Um, let's edit some of these values. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. That's possibly what I had going on. Yay! Alright, let's get into game. And then rotate it. Yay! There we go. Yay! I've done my, my most... My Christmas present, my path digger, if you like. Although it's not going up and down yet. I am, though. I suppose I can just put a, uh, I don't know, a jackhammer in my hands and just go up and down with it. Yay! <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. I'm hope I'm slowly bu uh, sort of ironing out the bugs and things. Like... That was another bug which I got the wrong direction. And hopefully we'll get to see this uh, this kind of system in the free models later. Once I've ironed out all the code. Let's see if I can get it uh, jittering. There we go. Nope, it does not want to rotate, does it? Yeah, so basically that would only be called maybe once or twice, like uh, I can check for when it's upside down and then it applies the forces. If the upside down is true or something, or if it's on its side, then it activate or something. I don't know. I haven't quite worked that bit out yet. <coughs> anyway. I thought I'd show you guys a follow-up uh, to my self-writing mechanism, how I'm going to apply the forces, etc. And I hope I covered that, yeah. Using the C-frame of the brick and C-frame angles, accompanied by Math Rad. So, yeah. I hope that's uh, shown you a way of actually sound from writing a brick in robots without using a body to gyro. I don't know why you want to but I guess it's a better way kind of thing and the reason why that's jittering like that is because I've set the error or the rotation uh, angle too high so if I set that to 3 let's say and then run it it shouldn't jitter so that's basically what all that jitter was. Oh. Let's rotate. There we go, no jitter. That's basically doing what that body gyro was doing. There we go, no jitter. 
my forever turning brick. Yay! <laughs> anyway, this has been T Hazard in Roblox Studio on a follow up to my self writing mechanism. Yeah, you actually said it. And I'll catch you guys later. T Hazard signing out.